The brand new 2021 Specialized Stump Jumper has just been launched and whilst it may look the same, it is actually a very different bike. So as you know right now, I'm Rachel and I'm from Offroad CC and today I'm here to give you all the details and a first ride of that new bike. You probably all know that the Stump Jumper is a specialised trail bike. And most of you remember that last year this bike came in two versions and in two wheel sizes, meaning that you could get a 150mm bike with 650B or 29er wheels, or you could get a short travel ST version with 120mm travel and either size wheels. Specialised are decreasing the options for this year though, giving the Stumpy 130mm travel and only 29er wheels. This sets it apart from both the Shorter Travel Epic Evo and the Stump Jumper Evo, which has 150mm travel. It appears that the Stump Jumper now has its own identity and it fills a gap in the range, giving them a short travel trail bike, touting its 130mm travel coupled with 140mm fork. Specialised say the normal stump jumper I have here is for flowing single track, whereas if you want to ride chunkier terrain, then you should opt for the stump jumper Evo. I've had a first ride on both bikes, and my thoughts on that Evo version are over on www.off.roadcc now. So if you want to know more about the harder hitting bike with adjustable geometry and a roomy swap box, then head there and take a look at that. The second big bit of news for the stump jumper is that it comes in the form of a change in suspension layout. So carbon bikes now get flex stays with flex engineered into the seat stay rather than a pivot on the chain stay. The brand says that this flex zone gives the same amount of movement that you'd get from a pivot in their normal horse link, but without the weight from having that extra joint in there. They also reckon that it's stiffer too, which should aid pedaling efficiency. It's worth noting that the brand is still calling this an FSR linkage, even though it's now quite different. So now it's more like a linkage driven single pivot. The alloy bikes don't get these flex stays though. Those bikes keep the horse link normally associated with the FSR. This FSR name is more of a brand name for the bike suspension layout, but it's worth remembering that the carbon and the alloy bikes are different. So I've been lucky enough to ride both the alloy and the carbon bike and um, from a suspension action point of view at the moment I'd be hard pushed to tell any difference. I have only had short rides on both though so I'll need more time and some more varied terrain to really totally suss out the difference. A last couple of things about the suspension. Specialised say they have altered it to make it more progressive for a lively snappy ride that also pedals well. It'll be interesting to see if it's less linear than the previous version when I properly test this bike. Also, that flip chip in the rear yoke stays, so it gives riders a choice between a low position and a high position and geometry. The next big change is the bit that I'm most excited about. The geometry of the Stumpy has been bought right up to date. After feeling a bit disappointed by the previous bike when I tested one, the 2021 bike bucks the trend and is both progressive and roomy with lots of size options and short seat tubes across the range. To give you a quick overview with an S3 bike as an example, that's equivalent to a medium. The reach on that bike is 450mm in the low position. The head tube angle is 65 degrees and the seat tube or the effective seat tube angle is steeper than last bike at 76 degrees. Chain stays come in at 432mm and the wheelbase for that S3 is 1200mm on the nose. In terms of sizing there are now 6 to choose from, from S1 to S6, with the smallest getting a seat tube length of 385mm and a reach of 410 whilst the largest bike gets a long reach of 530mm and a short seat tube of 465mm. If you did fancy getting on one of these bikes then you'll have a few spec options to choose from. Bikes start at 1900 quid for the base spec bike. So that's an alloy bike with an extrusion fork and an extrusion shock. It gets SRAM, SX Eagle and Tektro brakes. 
Spend a little more and you'll get the comp alloy version at £2,500 with a Fox 34 rhythm fork and a Fox float DPS shock. That gets SRAM NX Eagle and G2R brakes. The rest of the bikes of the range are carbon, so you also get a comp version in carbon, so same spec as the last bike I described, but that costs £3,500. And of course that means in that bike that you get the flex days and you get SWAT internal storage as well. Next up is the Expert bike at £4,750. That bike sports the same shock as the comp version, but it gets Fox 34 Performance Elite fork and SRAM G2 RSC brakes with a SRAM X01 and GX mix for the drivetrain. Next in the range is the Pro Level bike. Now this one gets a Fox 34 fork and a DPS factory shock and it gets SRAM G2 RSC brakes and a full X01 drivetrain, all in for £6,500. Then, as you might expect, there is an s bike. So this one costs £8,750 and it gives you, again, those Fox factory forks and shock choices. Then it gets SRAM XX1 AXS and for the drivetrain and SRAM G2 Ultimate brakes. All the bikes get a specialised cockpit, so including bars, stem and saddle. Plus, they all get, as you might expect, specialised own brand tyres. So it's got a butcher grid on front on all the bikes and a faster rolling purgatory grid at the rear. So, how does the new bike ride? Well, just as much as it looks like a stump jumper, it also feels a bit like a classic stump jumper too. It's pretty nimble and it's light. So the bike that I have here weighs just 28.8 pounds. So if you like those two things, then I think you'll get on well with a new bike. From my first impressions, I did feel much more centered on this longer bike compared to Stumpies that I've ridden in the past. So that's something that comes from the longer geometry. It was also a pretty comfy place to climb. I remember on previous stump jumpers that I've tested, I felt a bit like I was folded forwards at the hips and then stretched out when I was seated. So that's me compensating for a longer effective top tube and a slack effective seat tube angle. With this seat, steeper seat tube angle on this bike, it means I can sit in a position where my legs can really drive downwards on the pedal, which in short means it's much more efficient and it's a much better use of my energy. I opted to ride the S3 size, and I reckon this is pretty much bang on for me. But saying that, even though I'm just 160 centimetres tall, I would have also appreciated a longer dropper post. There's definitely plenty of room for it. I've only had a couple of brief rides on this bike. And as I said, I do feel there was a little of the classic stump jumper suspension bob when pedaling hard. And also the shock did retain some of the stump jumpers linear feel when descending, but I'll definitely need more time to really make up my mind. So I'm gonna make sure that my suspension settings are on point, have a play around with that and then I'll have much more de detail for you after a thorough testing. I'm definitely keen to get some more miles in on what I think is going to be a really fun little bike. The bike that I have on on test is the Expert Carbon bike in a size S3. So it is a bit pricier at over four grand than the bikes that we normally test on off-road CC, but I really wanted to test a bike with flex days, as that is a huge difference in the new range of bikes for 2021 and something that I think is really important to test and investigate. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. In the coming weeks, I'll be bringing you more videos about more brand new and slightly longer travel trail bikes. So make sure you keep an eye out so you can see what brand and what bike I'm on about. If you wanted more photos and more details in writing about this bike, then head over to www.off.road.cc now, where you can check out the first ride that's on the homepage. Plus, I always wanna know what you think. So if you have an older stump jumper and you're thinking of replacing it with one of these, or if you're gonna buy one for the first time, then let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.